because I was doing things I wasn't supposed to be doing, you know? <laughs> YouTube, it's your girl Latrice B back with another video. You hear me? Back with another video. Do you hear me? You know, after having that, that video I just recorded, like it got my spirits lifted back up because I had to get that out. I had to get that out. You know, I had to get that out. But now I'm back. You know, I'm back. I'm feeling good now. You know, like you know, <laughs> you know. But yeah, like this video is gonna be about. The birth controls um um the pill birth control pill the depo shot and the next the next but on the three-year implant i'm going to tell you about them because i had them all i had all of them you know i know y'all think like if you had all of them how you get pregnant like if you had all of them how the hell did you get pregnant i'm gonna get to that <laughs> i'm gonna get to that but I'm going to talk to y'all about the birth controls because I know when people just be going to the doctor and whatever and they just, they read it and they just be thinking like, is this stuff like true or it's like, is this some fake, you know, some BS, is this some BS? Well, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell you my, my experience, my experience, not nobody else's experience, not what I heard, my experience with these birth controls you know let me see i will start with the pill first i'm gonna go in order of which i had got them okay i had got the birth control pill when i was like 16. i was 16 years old because i was doing things i wasn't supposed to be doing you know plus man keeping them legs closed but i was doing something i was supposed to be doing so when i was 16 i had got the the um pill or whatever like my sister took me to the doctor. Yeah, she took me to the doctor and whatever. And I had got, they was like, which one you want? And I was just like iffy about all of them because when I was little. But you know when you're young, like people more dramatic with it. Don't get it, it'll kill you. Or don't get that and all this other stuff. I was scared to get it, so I just got the pill. Yeah, I was scared to get it, so I just got the pill. Now with the pill, I had to get the pill. I had to get the pill. Now with the pill, I'm not going to lie. You have to take every day at the same time and you might end up forgetting. So. The, the only thing that made me remember to take it was I set an alarm on my phone every day at the same time to remind myself to take it every day at the same time. Because if you don't, you're going to forget. Like, you're going to forget. It got to be the same time every day or you're going to get pregnant. I'm not even going to lie to you. It got to be the same because you will mess up. You will mess it up if you try to take it at different times. Like, you have to take it every day at the same time because you don't want to make a mistake and get pregnant, you know? But um, with this pill, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I feel like this this was the most annoying birth control because you already got to think about it every day. You got to think about it every day. The pill tastes disgusting. You have to swallow it. And my body didn't react to it well. This is my experience. My body didn't react to it well. Like every time I took it, like I think either like 30 minutes, like 15 to 30 to an hour, or whatever, not past an hour, I guess, I would end up throwing up from just taking this pill. Like, every time, I guess my body wasn't used to it or something, but every time I took this pill, y'all, like, I might as well call this pill the devil. <laughs> every time I take it, it was like something just came over my body, and I just used to throw it up. Like, it was so nasty. That was just so nasty. And I was just like, ugh. Is it worth it? Like, ugh, I can taste it in my mouth now. But it's like, I didn't like that one. I didn't like it. Eventually, after um, probably like three months of taking it, I just stopped taking it. I stopped taking it. I wasn't having XEX at the time. I wasn't doing the nasty, uh, the humpy hump, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm letting me say the humpy hump. But whatever you want to call it, I wasn't doing it at the time. So I'm like, it ain't no point for me to be, you know, taking this pill. So I was just like, oh, well. But let me get to the depo. The depo. So when I got to taking the depo, I was like a senior. Yep, I was a senior in high school. <laughs> I was a senior. Um, <laughs> I, 
I was a senior in high school. Um, I was in a relationship with someone. So eventually I know it was going to lead to mm, 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 mm. So I'm like, let me prepare myself, you know, it was like, um, I don't know what to call it. Like a, a program or something like people came to our school and whatever and they was promoting like get yourself tested and they was promoting getting condoms I like you know talking about sexual stuff and stuff about the body so i'm just like i should go there you know get my you know my condoms and i should get on the birth control you know you know think it's smart you know you just get on the birth control get my condoms stuff like that you know think about my well-being of myself or whatever so i go there and it was like do you know what birth control you want and I was just thinking, like, no, I really didn't know. I didn't know what birth control I wanted to get. I just know I had a bad experience with the birth control pill. So I was just thinking, like, oh, I got to go through this again. Oh, I really don't want to go through this, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't want the pill. Like, well, you know, it's other birth control and all this other stuff. So I'm just like, okay, what well, other birth control? She was like, it's the, uh, the IUD. And I'm just thinking, like, no, don't want that one. Don't want that one. Then she was like, it's the depo shot you can get. Um, she said it's a, a, a Nexpedon implant. But they wasn't really big on that one back then. It's like you had to go to certain places to go get that. So I didn't get that. I ended up getting the depo. She said you either get in your arm or like your little tush, your little pumpkin back, the little, your little booty, little cushion. I'm just like, my booty. <laughs> You don't got to do it in my booty. My arm is okay. You can put it in my arm right here. It's okay. You, ain't gotta, you don't got to get all freaky with me. You don't got to put it in my booty, you know? So I got it in my arm. I'm just like, ooh, yes. Got this birth control. Yes. Mm-mm. Feeling myself. I ain't getting pregnant. I ain't getting no kids. What? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, no kids for me. I got the birth control depo. Go every three months, baby. That's what I was thinking, like, mm-hmm. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking at first. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Then, uh, come to find out, I was getting cramps from this birth control. My leg used to be going out on me. When I say my leg was going out, I mean, like, when I was at work, I would just be working and stuff. And... It was literally, I would be walking fast and like try to hurry up and complete a task or do something while I work. And my leg would literally just, just go out. Like, when I say go out, like I feel like somebody just hit me in my damn hip or something. Like, it would literally go out on me, y'all. And I was getting so scared. Then, it wasn't making it no better that I was gaining weight. When I tell y'all I was gaining weight, like, I was gaining weight. I mean, like, wait, wait. Now, a little weight. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> like you see this double chin like i was gaining weight y'all like weight and i was on the birth control for like a year and a half and then i'm just like i just got so tired of it because it was making me feel depressed i was like you know having little mood swings and stuff i was just like not me like i wasn't me at all like i was just I just wasn't me, and I didn't like it. So I ended up, I don't know. I thought Katie was crying, but that's the uh, boss baby. The show, they make them noise and stuff like that on boss baby. But um, I'm just like this, like it wasn't for me, y'all. When I tell you, it was like doing all these things to my body that I didn't like. But the only thing that I like about the depo, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, no periods. When I tell you it was heavy, because like all my periods was heavy. I got that from my mama. Like it was heavy. But when I tell you this depo, the only blessing in here was like, oh, was no periods. Like no period. But it's like from time to time you would still get cramping like you were finna come on your period. But when I tell you I had no periods, like I mean none. I mean none. That was the best thing. Hold on, y'all. I'm back. But it's just like, that was the only good thing about the depo. Like, cause the side effects for me suck. Sucked ass, like I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
But the best thing was no periods. Like when I say none, I mean none. And I was like on it for a year and a half. Wait, I'm lying because like after a year being on it or something, I ended up, it was a spotting. It wasn't a period though, but it was, I was spotting for like a day. And then that was it. Like when I say that was it, that was it. But the mood swings, my leg going out. It was only one leg. I used to go out all the time. And the cramping and feeling depressed and stuff like that. That was, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I used to go to the, um, for a checkup every three months anyway, since I was getting my depot. Next time I went, I was like, no, I don't want the depot no more. Sure, are you sure? What are you gonna use? Condoms. I'm gonna use condoms because this right now. Where is that? Because I can't do it. Like, young as ever, being depressed and stuff. And I, that was like the year. Like, my mama, she passed in 2015, so it was just like, I couldn't. It was just, and then it was making no, no. That post shot was making me more depressed, so I was like, I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> after that time, time passed and whatever, I was getting my freak on after all that time passing, and then I finally got pregnant, pumping. <laughs> pumping, get my freak <laughs> And I finally got pregnant, y'all. Because at first I think I could have no kids, you know? But then now I was like, damn, I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. I was like, damn, I'm pregnant. And then, after I had my son, I had got this implant in my arm. No, I'm like, I had got back on the old uh, depot to test it out again, and I'm just thinking, like, it's still, like, for me. Then, like, the three months flew by so fast, and I'm just like, I don't want to go to the doctor, like, for a shot every three months. I don't go for a checkup, but a shot every three months and stuff. I'm just like, no. So then I ended up getting the, the uh, three-year implant. And when I got that, I'm just like, yes, I got to think about it no more. It's like, they, they literally put it in my, I don't know if I can show y'all. I'm scratching my shirt out just for y'all. Do y'all see this? I hate a stretched out shirt. Ugh. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see this? This is what my, um, I don't know if y'all can see. It was right here. It went in my arm right there. So it's like a small hole, and I don't have to get another one for three years until 2021. 2021, that's when I need another implant in my arm or decide if I want to have more kids or whatever. Or you will not even have to have it in your arm for three years. You can take it out before then, too. So I kind of like this one. I've been on this one for about, i say a month. After having my son, I had got the depot shot. But when I transferred over to the implant, it wasn't no change. I, I still wasn't having periods. This one been real, like, good. My earring came out, y'all. It's okay. But, like, it's, this one been really decent. I kind of like it. Like, and then you, you have to check, like, check your arm every so often to make sure, like, it's still there. When you don't feel it no more, you're supposed to go to the doctor. You just get up and go. You don't have to worry about it. You just know. In three years, you get it taken out, and they actually give you a little card on the date that you need to go get it taken out. But that's the best one I feel like. I update y'all in like a couple months or so and give it a review because I only had it for like a month now. But so far, so good, y'all. Like so far, so good. Like it don't hurt. I can hit my. Own. It doesn't hurt. It really feels like nothing there. And uh, no bleeding. I don't be feeling cramping. I don't feel none of that. I just feel normal. <laughs> I just feel normal, y'all. Well, y'all, you know, just find a depot. I mean, a depot. Let Just find the birth control that's right for you. It took me a long time to find the right birth control that was right for me. I just know the pill wasn't it and the depot wasn't it. But I'm going to give y'all an update. I, I'm, I promise. I'm going to give y'all an update. And a review about my um, mess with our implant in like a couple months, so I can really give y'all a, you know, an honest, really good review if I have fun with that. So, like this video, comment what else y'all want to hear me talk about, and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a video. Bye.